All right. You guys are about to see something crazy. I'm about to start speaking Spanish. I got tagged by the Spanish ReZero community on a post which shows, you know, more Spanish speaking people. Am I bad at this in Portuguese? I don't know shit, bro. I took Spanish in high school, in grade 11 and 12, okay? But I'm gonna read this because when you call for Batman, you know, when you call for help, I will be there. And we are now entering the Spanish ReZero schizo mentally ill people wanting attention. And in order to begin, it stems off of the main thing because this is a quote tweet, okay? So this is, I think, the guy crying that, oh my God, ReZero is popping off. Wah, 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 ReZero sucks. And this guy is basically hyping it up. Me integra. Mucho sabe cuál será la próxima excusa que se inventaran los haters. Los hate. <laughs> I gotta say this better. Los haters. En el siguiente capítulo para seguir auto engañándose diciendo que su barro todavía no ha tenido desarrollo de personaje. Estos cabrones van a llorar de importancia y lo voy a disfrutar. Which means, I'm really curious to know what excuse the haters will come up with next time in order to continue fooling themselves into thinking that Subaru still hasn't had any character development. These bastards are going to cry from the helplessness and I'm gonna enjoy it. That is the main thread. So, I think something crazy is about to happen, right? I've already seen this art. People have overlaid, uh, you know, Mustache man stash over here on Subaru calling himself so bad, but something crazy is gonna happen, bro. Wednesday and tomorrow, we got a, like a 30 minute reaction. But basically, Yamus here with Al as a profile picture base, he's basically saying, oh man, ReZero's gonna pop off. Subaru's gonna have so much development. And those people who are so deluded into thinking he has no growth will cry and he will feast on the tears. And then someone just had to respond to it. Someone just had to respond to it, and here we go. Tranquillo. No esperes eso de mi porque no quiero perder tiempo en un isekai basura. Como casi todos basadas en novelas ligeras. Mmm. Ya de por si su primera temporada fue mara. Mm. No quiero imaginarme. Las que siguen y luego ustedes traten de realista es super cuando ni esta cerca. True, brother. What did you say, though? Don't worry. Don't expect that from me. Because I don't want to waste time on a garbage isekai like almost all of them based on light novels. But you're here. You're wasting your time quote retweeting a dude celebrating ReZero. Why are you here? You, you could just disconnect and enjoy whatever you enjoy. Why do you have to start hating on other people enjoying themselves? The first season was already bad and I don't want to imagine that one's to follow and then you try to make Subaru realistic when he's not even close. I think Subaru is very realistic, but isn't this beautiful? This is so beautiful that like, the schizo mentally ill people who want attention by rage baiting, it transcends language barriers. I thought only English speaking people are doing that. No, no, I was very ignorant. There's so much more out there, man. There's so much more out there. And we're seeing the Spanish community, I think, you know, just doing that shit. And there's a lot of responses. Here we go. <laughs> and okay, don't make fun of my Spanish pronunciation. I guarantee you, you motherfuckers with an accent could never speak English or Korean. I make fun of you too, but you know, the Spanish is butchered. And I apologize. I mean, no respect, disrespect. I've only taken Spanish in high school in grade 11 and 12 because French sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, it's so hard to, you know, French was so hard as a class in, you know, high school. So I opted for Spanish. The only French that I remember is, uh, Je vais manger ton bébé avec moutal. Which means I'm gonna eat your baby with mustard because grade nine, Kaka TV wanted to just know the most edgiest and craziest thing that I could say with the limited vocabulary. But basically, I got no Spanish, no French. I'm just, I'm just saying shit. 
Me callas mejor cuando vea tus incios. En el Gibber posting y aspirabas a ser un youtuber de anime que apreciaba la obra por cómo son y no por las carencias que el crítico de turno les acoplaba. What, what does that mean? What did he say? He says, I liked you more when I saw your beginnings in Gribble posting and you aspire to be an anime YouTuber. Oh. Oh, this, this is like a fan. This is like, yo, I used to be kind of a fan. I used to actually kind of root for you, but you've changed. And now all you're doing is rage baiting. I'm disappointed. Who appreciated the work for what it is and not for the shortcomings that the critics on duty attach to them. Damn. And then he responds saying, No es mi culpa que las carencias sean más que lo bueno. Además que decir lo bueno sería en vano. ¿Por qué? Sería lo mismo que dice toda la gente. La mayoría de las obras populares son en realidad flojas o malas. No se puede hacer mucho con ello. What, what does that say? It is not my fault that the shortcomings are more than the good. And saying the good would be in vain because it would be the same thing that everyone says. Most popular works are actually weak or bad. Not much can be done about them. What? Uh, shortcomings are more... Most popular works are actually weak or bad. Well, maybe there's some logic here of like, you know, why does something get popular? Because it appeals to a wider audience. There's more stupid people than smart people like this guy. Therefore, to a supreme intellect, the monkeys, the casuals enjoying something because it got popular probably seems weak or bad to him because he is just an academic. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yo. I don't even have to. Oh, look at that Subaru picture too. Just have it. That's speed. I think that's a uh, speed, you know, with Subaru, right? So basically, I don't even have to read this. I don't even have to translate it. I think that he's making fun of him. Basically, this face, this soy jack, is the representation of this guy right now crying about other people having fun. So, Mr. David, David says, Se lo trazuco. Tengo hambre. Quiero interacciones. Y mi ato programo como hater. Every time I read hater, it, I just pronounce it in English, though. <laughs> I'm like, y me auto proclamo como hater. <laughs> well, how do I say it? Hater? Hater? Hater concurrente de la obra de la cual digo que no me importa. Lo cual no tiene sentido, pero lo digo porque quedo badass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll translate it for you. I'm hungry. I want interactions. And I proclaim myself as a concurrent hater of the work that I say I don't care about. Yep, I can't stop but talk about the work I hate about. Which doesn't make sense because I say because I look badass. <laughs> yep, what I say. All I needed to see was this picture and I knew exactly what this guy was going to say, bro. What does this guy say after his response? Si la última ve que hable de la obra fue hace semanas o meses y no necesito interacciones para nada. Solo fue un comentario. If the last time I talked about the work was weeks or months ago, if I and I don't need interactions at all, it was just a comment. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> okay, this one is Opina de toda la obra con solo una temporada si es un poco peruano. Igual, si ya le agarraste mania a la obra, nada que hacer. Oh. What does that say? To give an opinion on the entire work after just one season, if it is a bit Peruvian, the same. If you already got the hang of the work, nothing to do. Okay, I, I think the translations are obviously, you no, know, not the best, right? <laughs> pues sí, 
pero no creo que una segunda temporada cambie mucho cuando la primera y tenía sus 24 episodes. Well, yes, but I don't think a second season would change much when the first one already had 24 episodes. I mean, if the first season wasn't enough for you and you can't really convince someone to continue something, right? Like, I think that at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with dropping ReZero because you couldn't stomach it after season one. And it's fair to say that, like, there's limited growth in Subaru, right? I think that's a valued, you know, a talking point. I do think there's growth, moments of growth here and there through arc one, two, and three. But to say that there is no growth is a bit dishonest, but if you dropped it, that's perfectly fine. And then, I don't think he really needs to, like, be compelled to watch Season 2 and Season 3 and beyond to actually, like, be convinced that Subaru has growth. But he also can't just say Subaru has no growth and, like, Season 3 does not matter, right? All you have to do is, all I've seen is Season 1, and that's my opinion of Subaru, and that's it. You don't have to fucking quote retweet and say, like, oh my god, he's just, nope, uh-uh, doesn't change anything. It's just like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Next one. Nadie te habia preguntado igualmente. That's a short one. Uh, this one says, nobody had asked you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that's the Spanish for nobody asked. <laughs> no, nobody asked. <laughs> and then... And then he says, Para que se pan. What does that mean? Translate. No, it means so that they know. Who knows, bro? Who's asking for it? Nobody asked for it. Who? Who's this imaginary honest in your head? Oh, here we go. Concuerdo con que la primera temporada es basura. Pero tampoco puedes jugar como serán las otras sin veras. Y aunque... La mayoría de Light Novel y Isekais son genericos y unos cuantos que además de no serlos están buenos. Oh. I agree that the first season is garbage, but you can't judge what the others will be like without watching them. I, it's exactly what I just said, right? Well, right? Like, if your opinion of season one is that, sure. But like, you can't denounce what's happening in the future if you didn't even watch it. And although most light novel isekais are generic, there are a few that besides not being generic are good. I absolutely agree. And ReZero, Mushoku Tensei are two shows where it truly evolves beyond generic shitty isekai harem baits. Yes, there is harem bait happening here and there, but the writing depth is on another level for those two shows. And he says, Son muy pocos los isekais que son buenos, pero no encuentro ninguno todavía. There are a very good few isekais, but I haven't found any yet. That's so disingenuous. What is the few good isekais then? What, what is it? You haven't found it? How do you find something that doesn't exist in your head? What, 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 do, you, what do you mean? How does that make sense? Wait, wait. If you say there's a very few isekais, then you know that there's few isekais. But you haven't found it. But how do you find something that you know exists? How do you find... How do you not find something that you know exists? Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Wait, okay, sure, whatever. Lo más chistoso es que no ha leído ni de cerca one quarter de la obra. What does that mean? The funniest thing is that you haven't read even one fourth of the work. And he says... Visto querrás decir en el caso del anime. En lo que respecta a la novela solo he dado pequeños vistajos. See, you mean in the case of anime. As far as the novel is concerned, I've only given a small glimpse. Okay, alright. I mean, this is a pretty tame thread. Hola Yuri, que tal Yuri? Yuri? What is this? Hello, Yuri. Any Spanish speakers here? What does this mean? Any Spanish speakers? What, 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 is, what does this mean? Does, does anybody know? I, I, it doesn't even translate properly. It just says Yuri on Yuri. <laughs> it just means, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay. Todo bien. Descansado y preparandome para una maratón de, de penguin. Incroyable, Siri. 
I don't know. I don't know why the French came out there, but basically he's watching the Penguin right now, and it's an incredible series. Okay. Cool. You should talk about the Penguin then instead of ReZero. Okay, Yuri Del Valle. Silencio. No pusieron nada, pero calate el chico. What does that mean? What does that mean? I can't translate this guy. Silence. Uh, opinion of something. What does this mean? Does anybody know? What does this mean? Okay, fan of ReZero. Gracias por el cumplido. What does this guy translate? Guys, come on. Spanish speakers, translate this for me. What, what does this mean? I don't know. But the meme is funny. Spanish memes are always so fucking funny, bro. Son caricaturas, we. No te lo tomen tan en serio. What, what does that mean? You guys are just laughing and not translating, bro. They're just cartoons, dude. Don't they? <laughs> That's actually very true. Why do people get so heated over fucking anime takes online? And for sure, me getting heated is playing it for the camera and entertain you guys. But some people genuinely send like death threats and get so fucking serious about anime opinions, bro. It's just fun entertainment. Drama like this too. This is just funny to me. Like none of this is so, this is the most non-serious shit ever. All right. Mas o menos we. Todos tarde o temprano nos tomamos en serio cualquier cosa. More or less, dude. Sooner or later, we all take everything seriously. I don't know about that logic. Everything? Like the most trivial shit? Like what kind of argument is this? On a spectrum, I think there's things way more serious and there's things way less serious. To reduce this argument by saying eventually everything gets serious i don't know what that really means man is there any other ones tranqui pibe a nadie le interesaba si lo veas uh translate don't worry kid no one was interested if you saw it and he says pues para notifar notificares well to notify them who is them who is them? Pues que esperabas en la primera temporada. Otro pro protagonista con fantasia de poder o que si un solecito en toda la prima. Primera temporada Subaru es un pendejo. Que la obra no le romantiza estos actos. Hasta el mismo se autocritica. Entiendo tu punto. Pero él sí crece como personaje. Oh, this one felt a little angry. Well, what did you expect from the first season? A pr another protagonist with a power fantasy? For him to be just a little sunshine. Throughout the first season, Subaru is such a jerk that the play doesn't romanticize his actions. He even criticizes himself. I understand your point, but he does grow as a character. And he replies. No sé por qué suponen que eso es lo que deseo. Tan especiales se creen por tener una obra que se sale un poco del molde Henrico? No. Realmente no cambia casi nada. Más bien el siempre gana al usar la misma fórmula en cada arco. I don't know why they assume that's what I want. Do they think they're so special for having a work that's a little outside of the generic mold? No, he doesn't really change much. Rather, he always wins by using the same formula in each arc. Well, what's the formula? The formula is Subaru realizes that he needs to stop fucking up. In arc one, what does he do? Tries to solve everything by himself, right? And then he realizes, I can't do this shit myself. Reinhardt, please help. And that's the whole thing of pride and arrogance of rather than being an egotistical maniac thinking you should save everybody as a hero and deserve that acknowledgement, ask for help. And together we can overcome troubles. In arc two, what did he do? Well, he reached out to Biko, right? 
He learned how to cherish others, to protect others, even though he's been done wrong. He learned how to not be so fucking suspicious all the time. I think there was tremendous growth. The whole episode 7, straight bed playing as he jumps off the cliff. I think that the formula here, right, is similar, but there's different things happening. Arc 3, what does he do? Overcome by his sins, wrath, you know, he's just angry as fuck. He continues to just burn bridges with everybody. But later, he learns from his lessons. He takes time to look within himself and then reaches out for help. And by uniting others, he's able to accomplish the impossible. Notice how the same formula here is him reflecting on his mistakes, understanding that he's wild and out, seven deadly sins, yada, yada, yada. Let's, you know, moderate that. And then let's be better. You could reduce this by simply saying he's doing the same shit, but the concept is the same, but it's not the same shit, right? The details in the writing is different, but you can't just reduce it by saying same formula because the same formula applies to any fucking show. And I think that's pretty much it. Like we could read a little bit more, but I mean, this is this is where I got tagged. So thank you, Emeka Eze, for uh, this first uh, Spanish content. Hopefully uh, you guys learn how to pronounce Spanish because I'm the only person that knows how to speak this language. And if you think that my pronunciation was bad, well, yeah, I'm a gringo, ese. All I know is Spanish from high school. Goodbye.